Welcome to video 98 in series 3, and in this video I'm going to write the GUN standard input script. Okay, make a new folder here and call it GUN scripts. And I'll make a new C -sharp script, and I'll call it GUN standard input. Open it up. Alright, private, GUN master, GUN master. Private float, next attack. Public float attack rate. I'll just give it a default value of uh, 0 0.5. Private transform, my transform. Public bool is automatic. Public bool has burst fire. Private bool is burst fire active. Public string attack button name. Public string reload button name. Public string burst fire button name. I won't need the on enable and on disable methods, and I'll have quite a few uh, more methods that I need to write. Void check if weapon should attack. Void attempt attack. Void check for reload request. Void check for burst fire toggle. And a coroutine here, I enumerator, run burst fire. Attempt attack. Yield, return, new, wait for seconds, and that's the attack rate. And what I'm going to do is just copy this over. So this, this coroutine will cause uh, three attack attempts. That's why it's burst fire. Uh, so you can see that, attempt attack, then just wait for the attack rate to finish, then attempt again, and you can see that. Okay, let's set the initial references. So gun master is git component. Gun master. My transform is equal to transform. And gun master dot is gun loaded is equal to true. And this is so uh, the player can, can attempt shooting right away. Oops, can't spell it all. Okay, now I'll call that here in start. And in update, I will do check if weapon should attack. Check for reload request. Well, I can do that as well, burst fire toggle, and check for reload request. Okay, coming to attempt attack. Next attack is equal to time dot time plus attack rate. A reason why I'm having this, you see that there's no if time dot time greater than next attack. That will be inside this method. Uh, check if weapon should attack. Anyway, continuing on. If gun master dot is gun loaded. Debug dot log shooting. So that's what's happening. Gunmaster dot call event player input. 
Now, if it's not use, if it's not loaded, so else, then gunmaster dot call event gun not usable. Now, I don't do it in this series, but what you could do is to have a, another script which subscribes to this method to play like a clicking sound. So, like if the gun's out of ammunition, it'll find that it's not loaded, and then this will be called. And that would be the time to actually have something like that subscribe to this event, and that's why it's there. Okay, now for this check for reload request. So if input dot get button down, and that is the reload button name, and if game's not paused, so time dot time scale is greater than zero, and this is actually on the player, so my transform.root.compare tag, uh, the references dot player tag. So if those are all satisfied, gunmaster.call event request reload. Okay, copy all of this. Hey, debug.log burst fire toggle. Gunmaster dot call event toggle burst fire. And just before that, I'll also put in is burst fire active is equal to not is burst fire active. And you'll see the usage of this uh, pretty much now. Well, just in a moment. If time dot time is greater than next attack and time dot time scale is greater than zero and my transform dot root dot compare tag again same thing game manager references dot player tag so only if it's on the player should we uh, even bother checking if we should if the weapon should attack now there are three possibilities one the gun is automatic but it doesn't have burst fire enabled that means it's full auto the next possibility is the gun is automatic but burst fire is enabled and lastly, the gun is not automatic, so you have to click to shoot. So let's check those. If is automatic and not is uh, burst fire active, then we also check if input dot get button and that button is attack button name. So you'll notice I'm just using input.get button, so you don't have to repeatedly click. Oh, oops, what do I have a semicolon there for? Sorry, my mistake. Debug.log Full auto. Okay, and then uh, attempt attack. Okay, next one, else if. is automatic and is burst fire active then if input dot get button down attack button name so the player does have to repeatedly press to get the burst fire to continue work then debug dot log first start coroutine run burst fire okay next else if not is automatic if input dot get 
button down. So that is the attack button name, of course. Then attempt attack. Okay, so that's a single wire. So I think that's it. It looks like I've got the script done. Uh, I guess the next thing is to actually attach it and just check that it's working. That's why I've got all those debug logs. All right, so I've made a mistake here. So let me go back to the message itself, see what it's actually complaining about. Ah, here it is. So I forgot to put a semicolon right up there. Okay, let's go back. Okay, looking all right. Salt rifle, drop it on. Okay, I'll set up it. So yes, it does have burst fire. I'll set the attack rate to 0 0.2. Attack button name is just fire1 from the input manager. Reload, I need to set that up. Fire2, which is right mouse click. Uh, edit, project settings, input. And add in another input. So this one is reload. And the positive button R. Okay. Coming back. So that was reload. Okay, let's hit that play and see how it goes. Good. Looks like this one is on fully automatic. There we go. It says full auto. So it recognizes that I've got full auto on. And it looks like the fire rate, it seems to look about right to me. Okay. So let me just go through that. Yep, all full auto, all shooting. Next, I'll clear that again. And this time I'll right click. So did anything happen? It doesn't look like it. So let me go back. No, it didn't. All right, so I need to go and check what's wrong. So this is the debug log statement that should have been called, but has not been called. And the problem is, is that I've got the wrong button name because I copy pasted the code. So let me change that. So it's the burst fire button name. There we go. That's corrected. Now I should go back in and test that. So I know auto works. Now if I right click, yes, burst fire toggled. Left click. There we go. So there have been five messages. What are they? First of all, burst fire toggle, burst, so burst was up here. That's good, so it's working fine, burst is working, that ran. And here we've got burst fire toggled, uh, so there we go, that was what was called initially. And then when it's attacking, it's shooting. So, yep, you can see that there's three shooting to match what is in the coroutine. So excellent, so the system is working. Uh, just fine. And I've gone back to shooting on full auto. Okay, so that's it. This script is working fine. Uh, just comment out all of those debug log statements. No need for them. Save the script. So that was good. So you saw how I was able to find out that there was a problem with my code by using them. That's why you use them to test. And all good now. All right, so let's, let's keep on going. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.